Good morning. Good morning. I haven't been on for a while. It's a day, day and a half. Um, I needed an energetic reset and I was really busy. So last time I was on, I was talking about needing to go get a criminal record check and then having to go back because something came up on my criminal record check and getting a declaration and then bringing that to the school so that I could go and volunteer with the school. The principal approved me for volunteering with the school. So I was volunteering yesterday with my son. I'm, I'm so grateful for that. <laughs> I'm honestly so grateful for that. Um, yeah, I had so much fun too. <laughs> I, had like, I felt like a little kid. <laughs> Yeah, because that, that's what I am at heart. <laughs> um, and it was so much fun. We went to the fish hatchery. So we saw like millions and millions of like fish eggs and and millions of babies, rainbow trout, like rainbow trout, like little things. And we got to like grab these fish nets and like pick them up and we could like touch them and stuff. Um Kids were kissing fish. They were like kissing them. <laughs> Adrian, not, you didn't want to. <laughs> you didn't want to touch them. But he was so giddy. He was like, it was like exhilarating for him. <laughs> um, he got splashed. <laughs> yeah, it was good. So that's exciting news. Maybe somebody else is getting like exciting news that like kind of shows progression, right? Maturity, something like something about maturity. My nose is like really itching on the inside. I got a new tarot deck, Game of Thrones tarot deck. So I started watching Game of Thrones again. I got the first couple episodes down. Um, I don't know if anyone watches Game of Thrones, but we're gonna we're gonna do this deck today. And oh my nose, it's really itchy. I gotta go blow my nose. I'll be right back. Um, yeah, so we're gonna do this deck. I'm gonna talk about the dream state a little bit. So in the dream state, there was an X. There was an X. Um, they were like visiting an old house of theirs or like an old neighborhood. Um, it could be that one of their friends lived there. They could have got one of their friends to live there, but it's like weird. They're, they just go there whenever they're staying. In this town, people think that they moved. People think that they moved, and they did. They just have places in two places, okay? So that they can remain ghost-like, I don't know, remain ghost, something like that, okay? So, and then also somebody's ex recognizes that the only reason you were, the only reason that you were messy, the only reason that you were unorganized is because they were creating chaos in your life. So if they would have created a healthy environment for you, then you guys would have been prosperous. And it's a certain amount of guilt that they carry because they were, they were um, abusive in any manner, um, verbally, emotionally, physically, whatever it was to you, all of the above, okay? And that, that kind of environment um, somebody who is very sensitive will not thrive. They just won't. I don't know why this tea bag is like weird. Um, so I don't know, maybe a sense of accountability. It's more feeling like guilt though. It feels more like guilt than accountability. This is like a hard cover. Yeah, like it would have been abundant, abundant because all you wanted was peace. 
Um, and they're seeing this like after the fact. After the fact of being abusive, after the fact of trying to change the narrative, after the fact that you are just never going back ever, not even as a friend. Somebody wants someone as a friend now. They're like, well, now they know they might as well just be a friend. Um, and it's because you're creative, because you're, I don't know, they're seeing, they're seeing that you can make peace with anything. Um, but some things, some things you can't, <laughs> some things you can't just say sorry and be like, there has to be some sort of retribution there, right? Like, say if, say if somebody physically abused me for years, which is true, okay? Um, and they were like, they sent me a text saying sorry, saying like, you know, I'm sorry for everything. Okay. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that going to do, right? What does that do? Like, that doesn't show me that you fixed yourself. It doesn't show me that you've done the healing that I prayed for you to do. That doesn't, that, it just, it's, it's nothing in comparison to what you did. Like, what did you do? Okay, now you'll have to know what it would take for retribution, right? Like, go find that healing for yourself. Tell me you did that at least. And don't fucking lie, like, you know, obviously you don't mean it, you just want a means to talk. Right, because that's what people are going to think. You have to be able to, like, be up for the task and, like, actually healing that situation. If not, you're manipulating them and they're smarter than that now, if they got away. Right, they understand that, sorry, there's no action behind it, is manipulation. Okay, they're going to be like, damn, you got some fucking nerve, man. Get out of my face. Or they'll just call the police. Like, like, what do you expect? Like, I don't know, man. I don't know, but somebody wanted to be a friend. They're a shitty friend. Somebody's a shitty friend. You wouldn't want them to be a friend anyways. You wouldn't want them to be your friend anyways. If someone from the past comes peeking through or someone's past friends come peeking through, don't do it. That That's not it, okay? It'll be like, warning, warning, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Red flag. <laughs> wave, if they wave. Forget about it. <laughs> you know? Finally, following the ace of coins missed opportunity yeah this is what somebody sees it as like a huge missed opportunity like reckless reckless they're seeing the way that you were like off balance is because of them okay Like, they didn't offer any sort of support. If anything, it was the opposite. Okay? They worked against. To diminish. To depreciate. Your value. This person sucked. I don't even understand. I don't even understand. Oh, it's like because they have like this huge ego. Okay? So it's a battle with their ego. It's like accepting of you not ever being back, not even as a friend. Because I was thinking like, who does this person think they are? And it's like, it's a battle with self, with the ego. Okay. Maybe they're able to control other people like this, it's not you. And as people mature, they'll catch on. 
Okay, so this person better switch up their game. They better switch up their game and start maturing. And start being grateful for the people who are accepting them back. Because there's not going to be a lot of them if they keep this up. Or stay around people who are oblivious. And not on their level intellectually. Because they just don't know any better. It's like an intellect though. They're, they're not dumb. Bad fortune. Bad karma. Somebody... Okay. So because of this... They, they, they know it's karma. They know it's karma. They know that they never saw you at your fullest potential because of this. Because they never cherished it. It was something to cherish. It was a great opportunity. And they did the opposite. They sabotaged it. So because they sabotaged it, this is their bad karma. Watching you move forward and do really great things. And being very supported by the divine. I'm getting not really by anyone else even. By the divine. Watching you make peace with a bunch of different situations of your past and healing from it. Healing from past, past their sabotage. Like in the midst of the chaos that they were trying to sabotage you with, you kept moving forward, you kept moving forward, and you still don't want them in your life. Not now, not ever. And this, they feel like this is their bad karma. This is karma. For, for treating you like absolute shit, okay? Now they gotta watch this. No matter like what they throw at you and in the midst of it, they're like ruining their name. They look like a hater for real. Whoa. 10 of coins in reverse. Someone could go bankrupt or like lose out on a huge deal. Ooh, there's someone who's really well off who manipulated a situation, they're gonna go bankrupt. Queen of Swords. In reverse. Heavy manipulator, liar. Just going off. Knight of Swords. Angry. Six of Coins. because they can no longer take what's yours and claim it as theirs. There's like stolen inheritance here that will be frozen. There will be some sort of legal matters here with like um like a like bad luck like a bad bad series of chain of events like after another after another after another this will lead to that which will lead to that which will lead to that which will lead to that <laughs> that was hard to say <laughs> um bad in a bad sense bad sense of maybe like assets getting frozen then from there getting a warrant then from there having I don't know it's bad though it's bad and it's with the courts and it's with the due stolen money with stolen money stolen inheritance bad money stolen bad money bad business stolen inheritance stolen lump sum of money okay sabotaging depreciating um, this is like reckless, reckless spending. I was getting reckless at the beginning. Series of chain of events, bad in the reverse. No more money. Could be bankruptcy. But yeah, that's like, this series of chain of events it has to do with this inheritance and this money being depleted. Okay, like you spent that money. Now you'll have to pay and the series of chain of events that come with that. Illusions discovered, your illusions are discovered. People are no longer in conflict. It's like, as knowledge, it's as knowledge. 
it's knowledgeable. It's not a secret. Illusions in the reverse, it's not a secret. People are no longer conflicted in the mind. It's like somebody had someone conflicted in the mind due to threats, due to fear. Because this is fear, and it came up in the reverse. This is Ten of Swords, which is like death threat in the reverse. So people aren't even, no longer conflicted about your death threats. They just see you as a liar. Somebody's like, I do this. This is, this is what I do. This is what I do. You can't tell anyone. This is what I do. You can't tell anyone. It's not what they do. They're a liar. Somebody lies. That's what they do. Okay? Queen of Swords in the reverse. They lie. They manipulate. They're not somebody to be scared of, man. They're not somebody to be scared of. They probably barely leave the house for fuck's sakes. With all this bad luck and lack of money. The only reason they had money to begin with was because they stole somebody else's wheel of fortune. It's not sustainable. The way that they got it isn't sustainable. Ace of coins in the reverse by sabotaging somebody else, by picking up somebody else's coin. The universe isn't al gonna allow it, wheel of fortune in the reverse to be sustainable. Three of Cups, celebrated. They celebrated on this. They gathered to sabotage, to depreciate somebody's value. Somebody's so angry, man. They're so angry, but it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny how angry they are. Because you don't even really care. <laughs> I love this deck. These people are like getting drunk. Who's <laughs> partying? They're, when you like, when you, when people are looking into this, they're gonna see that these people tried to sabotage you and gathered to do this to cause you unfortunate events in your life, and to have you in lack, but then also like gain off off of your failure or something like that, man. Um, they're gonna see the maturity difference. Okay, that's gonna be a highlight. Maturity difference. Okay, and it doesn't matter if you like if you were toxic in any sort of way. What they do trumps the way that you were by like thousands, man. It's ooh, Knight of Spears, but I'm getting incest here. You know what? In Game of Thrones, there's like incest. I'm getting like incest. So if it's not like a brother and sister, it's like a brother and cousin. Brother and cousin. Cousin and cousin. Cousin and cousin or a brother. Or like keeping it in the family or something weird. Something weird. Like that. I'm hearing bestiality. I don't know. I don't know. That one just came out of nowhere. Side note. Side note. Ooh, yes. Because I'm getting like the animals here and then the, like this hole here. That's weird. <clears throat> Something's weird about like. I'm just going to move on from that. That's. Uh, oh, that's not funny. That's not funny. It happens, man. It happens. It's been happening for a long time. Ten of coins. Somebody is also going to come forth and say, speak. Somebody's going to come forth and speak. There's going to be like a message of bad news. Or of an arrest. 
a message of attack. Also, I was seeing um I was seeing a helicopter yesterday and it was like stars helicopter. Okay, um due to an attack. Somebody was attacking that person. It was like um either either a knife or like a like a wound, right? Like a weapon wound. It could have been anything really, but it was an attack. Ten of coins, death. Somebody tried to benefit off of somebody's death. Life insurance style. Life insurance style. This girl, remember this girl? I forget her name now. But she's she is like death, man. She's like a avenging angel. I can't wait to like finish the series because then I'll be more Aria. Somebody tried to send death magic to recently. Yeah, they paid somebody to do this. Death magic. Pfft. It's going to affect somebody's finances as well as... Maybe it, it'll be a death to your finances forever. Somebody wants to come forth and send a message. People are still hating for real. Like they still they still gather and they still do this hate train. Chariot. And you just continue to move forward. Continue to move forward. These people thought you should be in lack. Hierophant. Like it just very knowledgeable. You don't even need to be around these people to understand where they're at. These people are like in deep regret and loss and they feel like it's bad luck. The end of this cycle. Like these people should have cherished ever being around somebody like you either, whether like it be friendship or relationship, um, family. They should have cherished you. You were something to cherish. Like, good people are something to cherish, not something to abuse. And these people abused it. And you're moving on. You know what it is. You know what it is. They know what it is. It's just this feeling of loss and regret and playing things over. And, like, maybe I can do this. Maybe I can do that. Maybe I can do this. But, like, ultimately knowing that it's done, otherwise you wouldn't be thinking that. Very in lack, regret. Thinking back on the truth. But this kind of has a sense of accountability to it. Like, yeah, I'm going to gather, I'm going to lie to these people. But I mean, I know the truth on how I treated that person. And I don't know the truth on how, how peaceful that person was just trying to be with me. And I know the truth in, of, of how I didn't treat that right. I didn't treat that Queen of Cups right. Who only wanted to love me. Damn. The Hermit. And now they have an inner knowledge of my truth. So it's not even like I could come up and lie or tell them half-truths because they already know. They have an inner knowing. And like this person had, is like um, people, who, people who tried to like attack this person. The death, death is upon them. Like just because they, I don't know man. Yeah, like the devil, the devil... They, they have an inner knowing of devils, man. 
they'll be able to see it. They'll be able to see it. They'll give them like the creepy crawlies. But yeah. Like your demons were supposed to attack this person and they were supposed to know know this this inner knowledge to know the truth about the past and how you treated them. Okay, they were supposed to be able to go back and look at that. Okay, through gifts, through their gifts, eventually through their gifts. You know how like I can, I know I can do this, but like I can take myself back to a situation and understand where everybody's at. Okay? The devil looking into it, inner knowing to find the truth of these past memories. It's like a it's like a past maybe it, someone's a past life regressionist or somebody's going to see a past life regressionist um but these devils it's not in this lifetime in this lifetime these devils they don't win. They don't win when it comes to this um empire. They don't you come out on top, the Hierophant. Um, but when I said past life regressionist, I saw somebody being burnt at a, at like a, like crucifix style, as if they're a witch. I had a past life regression memory that was like that as well. Um, but this one wasn't mine, it's somebody else's. Anyway, something about like these devils don't win this time. You already paid that karmic debt. Eight of Spears. Damn, these cards are really intense, man. These cards are really intense. I'm going to put them away. <laughs> My heart's beating really fast. Five of Spears. These people are conflicted because you're moving on to peaceful times. Like, your back is turned. And these people, like the how they gathered to sabotage and attack you is the same anger that they're going to have to take out on each other because you're never going back. You're healing. The Empress. Like your healing allowed you to be more mature. That's what I was getting at the beginning. It's undeniable. These people don't know what to do. indecision now they don't know what to do these cards are so beautiful ten of swords yeah they were a traitor in your life man they abused this like it ha you know how like at the beginning where i was saying like The nerve, like, what? No, 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 no. <laughs> Get away. <laughs> Block. This is satisfactory. This is what feels good because it's the right thing to do. You know when you, like, don't know what to do, you don't know what to do, so you sit on it, you think about it because you're mature and you're healed, you think about it because you don't want to have to deal with this conflict. This conflict isn't yours to deal with. You've already moved on. You've already moved on to peace. You're already with yourself. Why do I feel like this? Hand it over. That's not mine. I don't know what to do about that conflict, but I don't, I'm not going to, I'm not going to handle it on my own. It's not mine to handle. Okay. It's not mine. It's not my energy. Okay. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to feel really good about it. It's going to feel like a weight off my shoulders. Satisfactory. 
okay? And I can go back to doing what I was doing. Creative endeav endeavors. Creative endeavors. Okay, with a whole new sense of maturity. Wow, this is actually really beautiful. Bold and determined. Charisma. Maybe lacks finesse. Stands. Stands for sudden drama or conflict. He often reveals a relationship, stress, family discord, and other personal challenges to be overcome. So remember how I was talking about the past? Like if somebody's past friend comes in or somebody's past comes in, know this about them. They'll be looking for a relationship. They'll be bold and determined and charismatic, but they'll lack finesse. You'll understand that there's an underlining job needing to be done or that person was put up to it or there is something that that person is looking to get okay they'll be dramatic they'll be conflict conflicting something will be conflicting about it it'll feel conflicting you know when you just make the right decision and usually making the right deci decision is not making a decision okay it just is i realize that most of the time when i'm like handing things over and i meditate on it the answer is to not answer just don't it's not mine, right? And that'll feel good. It'll feel good if it'll feel like a relief. It'll feel like a release because it is. Um, anyway, something will be conflicting about this person that you know that you don't want to be a part of that drama. Mm -hmm. It'll cause stress, family discord, and other personal challenges to overcome. So that's just a warning for somebody. Warning. Sometimes the best thing to do is to do nothing. Wave, move on. <laughs> okay, so that was like, that's the new cards, man. Those are the new cards. Thanks to my brother for giving me those. We went to go pick up his car because he left it at the bar. And um, so we went to go pick it up when he was feeling better. <laughs> So we played a game of pool and he ended up winning and he went down, won on the villa. I said wind. He won on the VLTs. So then we went to this gamer store and um, I was asking them about tarot cards and they didn't have any in. So I was asking if they could order some in. And I saw that deck, okay, the Game of Thrones deck. And I was with my brother who I watched the series with. Um... So I told them I'd come back in a month when I got paid. And then Kelsey just bought it for me because he wanted the VLTs. So, yeah, it's cool. It holds a lot of energy. It holds a lot of energy. Okay, I'm going to read this. So the message of today is like maturity. Maturity. Um, and a lot of other things too. It's like... How somebody handles themselves is undeniable. It's like the actions they take, the things that they speak about, um, the way they help others is just screams mature, okay? Um, and, and not putting up with anything less than mature. Okay, so we're gonna read this introduction until I feel like it's enough information and then <laughs> then I'll move on. Close it out. Much like nature, life is often working in our favor. Even when it seems like we're only being faced with adversity, discomfort, and change. A forest, as forest fires are essential to... Ecology... Excuse me. Of the environment. Of the environment. Opening new seeds that require heat to sprout. 
and rebuild a population of trees. Our minds also go through periodic episodes of positive disintegration. Or a cleansing through which we release and renew our self-concept. Wow, that's what this reading's about, okay? My butt is itchy. <laughs> anyway. We know that nature is most fertile and expansive at its perimeters where climates meet. And we also transform, we also transform when we reach our edge states, the points at which we are focused to step out of our comfort zones and regroup. When we can no longer rely on our coping mechanisms to help distract us from the problems in our lives, it can feel as though we've hit rock bottom. I'm hearing louder. <laughs> I'm hearing louder milk. <laughs> That's funny. If you guys haven't watched Louder Milk, it's um on it's on, I think it's on Netflix. Anyways, it's it's um it's a TV series. It's about this guy who starts meetings, he starts AA meetings and helping people at the church, okay? So if you guys want to watch that, that's a comedy to do with recovery. Louder milk. The reality is that this sort of awakening is what happens when we finally come to terms with the problems that have existed for a long time. Yeah, like why? Where does that come from? Why do I do that? Why did I start being friends with that person? Where was I at? Was I lonely? Is that it? Because now I know that I'm never alone. Okay? So it's like, as we're growing and as we're maturing, look back at that relation. Why? Where was I at when I decided that? Um, because that's where a lot of your answers will come from. And um, reoccurring cycles, you can identify them just by asking those simple questions. Um, was I in a bad state? Was I broken down? Like just stuff like that, right? And you'll know, you'll know, it'll come back to you as soon as you ask, like, when did I start being friends with this person? What was going on with me at the time? Okay. Okay. I see. Break it down like that. Okay. Um, It'll have to do with vulnerability in some, in some, in some aspect. Okay, find that place um, and work on it. The breakdown is often just the tipping point that proceeds to the breakthrough. At the moment, a star implodes before it becomes a supernova. Just as a mountain is formed when two sections of the ground are forced against one another, your mountain will arise out of the coexistence but conflicting needs. Your mountain requires you to reconcile two parts of you, the conscious and the unconscious, the part of you that is aware of what you want and the part of you that is not aware of why you're still holding yourself back. Historically, mountains have used have been used as metaphors for spiritual awakenings, journeys of personal growth, and of course, insurmountable challenges that seem impossible to overcome when we're standing at the bottom. Like so much of nature, mountains provide us with an inherent wisdom about what it will take to arise to our highest potential. The objective of being human is to grow. That's funny. <laughs> like I, I always say like it's we're, we're here to learn lessons and to love, right? And that is to grow. 
We see this reflected back to us in every part of life. Species reproduce, DNA evolves to eliminate certain strands and develop new ones. The edges of the universe are expanding forever outward. Likewise, our ability to feel the depth and beauty of life is capable of expanding forever inward if we're willing to take our problems and see them as catalysts. Forests need fire to do this. Volcanoes need implosions. Stars need collapse. And human beings often need to be faced with no other option but to change before they really do. No other option but to change. To have a mountain in front of you does not mean you are fundamentally broken in some way. Everything in nature is imperfect. And it is because of that imperfection that growth is possible. If everything existed in uniformity, uniform, the gravity that created the stars and planets and everything that we know would not exist. Without breaks, faults, and gaps, nothing could grow and nothing would become. The fact that you are imperfect is not a sign that you have failed. It's a sign that you're human, and more importantly, it's a sign that you still have more potential within you. Maybe you know what your mountain is. Maybe it's addiction. Maybe it's weight. A relationship. Relationships. Jobs. Motivation. Or money. Maybe you don't. Maybe it's a vague sense of anxiety, low self-esteem, fear, or a general discontentment that seems to bleed out onto everything else. The mountain is often less a challenge in front of us as it is a problem within us. An unstable foundation that might not seem evident on the surface but is nothing less shifting almost every part of our lives. Usually when we have a problem that is circumstantial, we're facing the reality of life. When we have a problem that is chronic, when we're facing the reality of our lives, we often think that to face a mountain means to face life's hardships. But the truth is that it's almost always because of the years we've spent accumulating tiny traumas, adapta adaptations, adaptations, and coping mechanisms, all of which have compounded over time. Your mountain is the block between you and the life you want to live. Facing it is also the only path to your freedom and becoming. You are here because a trigger showed you your wound and your wound will show you your path and your path will show you your destiny. When you arrive at this breaking point, the foot of the mountain, the heat of the fire, the night that finally wakes you, you're at the crux of the breakdown And if you're willing to do the work, you'll find that it is the entryway to your breakthrough that you've spent your entire life waiting for. Your old self can no longer sustain the life that you're trying to lead. It is time for reinvent reinvention. It is time for rebirth. You must release your old self into the fire of your vision and be willing to think in a way that you've never even tried before. You must mourn, mourn the loss of your younger self, the person who has gotten you this far, but who is no longer equipped to carry you onward. You must envision and become one with your future self. 
be the hero in your life that is going to lead you from here. The task in front of you is silent, simple, and monumental. It is a feat most do not ever get the point of attempting. You must now learn agility, resilience, and self-understanding. You must change completely, never to be the same again. The mountain that stands in front of you is the calling of your life, your purpose for being here, and your path finally made clear. One day, this mountain will be behind you, but who you become in the process of getting over it will stay with you always. In the end, it is not the mountain that you must master, but yourself. So this book is The Mountain Is You, um, Transform Transforming Self-Sabotage into Self-Mastery by Brianna Weiss. So this is the book that we're going to be reading at the end of every reading. Have a good day, people. I'll see you later.